The Mercator projection is a cylindrical map projection presented by the Flemish geographer and cartographer Gerardus Mercator in 1569. It became the standard map projection for nautical purposes because of its ability to represent lines of constant course, known as rum lines or luxodromes, as straight segments which can serve the angles with the meridians. While the linear scale is equal in all directions around any point, thus preserving the angles and the shapes of small objects, the Mercator projection distorts the size and shape of large objects, as the scale increases from the equator to the poles, where it becomes infinite. Properties and historical details Mercator's 1569 edition was a large planisphere measuring 202 by 124 cm, printed in 18 separate sheets. As in all cylindrical projections, parallels and meridians are straight and perpendicular to each other. In accomplishing this, the unavoidable east-west stretching of the map, which increases as distance away from the equator increases, is accompanied in the Mercator projection by a corresponding north-south stretching, so that at every point location, the east-west scale is the same as the north-south scale, making the projection conformal. A Mercator map can never fully show the polar areas, since linear scale becomes infinitely high at the poles. Being a conformal projection, angles are preserved around all locations. However scale varies from place to place, distorting the size of geographical objects and conveying a distorted idea of the overall geometry of the planet. At latitudes greater than 70 a degree north or south, the Mercator projection is practically unusable. All lines of constant bearing are represented by straight segments on a Mercator map. The two properties, conformality and straight rum lines, make this projection uniquely suited to marine navigation. Courses and bearings are measured using windroses or protractors, and the corresponding directions are easily transferred from point to point, on the map, with the help of a parallel ruler or a pair of navigational protractor triangles. The name and explanations given by Mercator to his world map show that it was expressly conceived for the use of marine navigation. Although the method of construction is not explained by the author, Mercator probably used a graphical method, transferring some rum lines previously plotted on a globe to a square graticle, and then adjusting the spacing between parallels so that those lines became straight, making the same angle with the meridians as in the globe. The development of the Mercator projection represented a major breakthrough in the nautical cartography of the 16th century. However, it was much ahead of its time, since the old navigational and surveying techniques were not compatible with its use in navigation. Two main problems prevented its immediate application, the impossibility of determining the longitude at sea with adequate accuracy and the fact that magnetic directions, instead of geographical directions, were used in navigation. Only in the middle of the 18th century, after the marine chronometer was invented and the spatial distribution of magnetic declination was known, could the Mercator projection be fully adopted by navigators. Several authors are associated with the development of Mercator projection, German Erard Eslob, who had engraved miniature compass maps of Europe and parts of Africa, latitude 67 a degree a euro zero a degree, to allow adjustment of his portable pocket-sized sundials, was for decades declared to have designed a projection identical to Mercator's. Portuguese mathematician and cosmographer Pedro Nunes, who first described the Luxodrome and its use in marine navigation, and suggested the construction of a nautical atlas composed of several large-scale sheets in the cylindrical equidistant projection as a way to minimize distortion of directions. If these sheets were brought to the same scale and assembled an approximation of the Mercator projection would be obtained. English mathematician Edward Wright, who published accurate tables for its construction. English mathematicians Thomas Harriot and Henry Bond who, independently, associated the Mercator projection with its modern logarithmic formula, later deduced by calculus. Uses As on all map projections, Shapes or sizes are distortions of the true layout of the Earth's surface. The Mercator projection exaggerates areas far from the equator. For example, Greenland takes as much space on the map as Africa, when in reality Africa's area is 14 times greater and Greenland's is comparable to Algeria's alone. Alaska takes as much area on the map as Brazil, 
when Brazil's area is nearly five times that of Alaska. Finland appears with a greater north-south extent than India, although India's is greater. Antarctica appears as the biggest continent, being infinitely large, although it is actually the fifth in terms of area. Although the Mercator projection is still used commonly for navigation, due to its unique properties, cartographers agree that it is not suited to general reference world maps due to its distortion of land area. Mercator himself used the equal area sinusoidal projection to show relative areas. As a result of these criticisms, modern atlases no longer use the Mercator projection for world maps or for areas distant from the equator, preferring other cylindrical projections, or forms of equal area projection. The Mercator projection is still commonly used for areas near the equator, however, where distortion is minimal. Arno Peters stirred controversy when he proposed what is now usually called the Gala Euro Peters projection as the alternative to the Mercator. The projection he promoted is a specific parameterization of the cylindrical equal area projection. In response, a 1989 resolution by seven North American geographical groups deprecated the use of cylindrical projections for general purpose world maps, which would include both the Mercator and the Gala Euro Peters. Many major online street mapping services use a variant of the Mercator projection for their map images called Web Mercator or Google Web Mercator. Despite its obvious scale variation at small scales, the projection is well suited as an interactive world map that can be zoomed seamlessly to large-scale maps, where there is relatively little distortion due to the variant projections near conformality. The major online street mapping services tiling systems display most of the world at the lowest zoom level as a single square image, excluding the polar regions by truncation at latitudes of I marks A equals AA plus or minus 85.05113 a degree. Latitude values outside this range are mapped using a different relationship that doesn't diverge RTIA equals AA plus or minus 90 a degree. Mathematics of the Mercator projection, the spherical model, Although the surface of Earth is best modeled by an oblate ellipsoid of revolution, for small-scale maps the ellipsoid is approximated by a sphere of radius A. Many different ways exist for calculating A. The simplest include the equatorial radius of the ellipsoid, the arithmetic or geometric mean of the semi-axis of the ellipsoid, the radius of the sphere having the same volume as the ellipsoid. The range of all possible choices is about 35 a km, but for small-scale applications the variation may be ignored, and mean values of 6,371 a km and 40,030 a km may be taken for the radius and circumference respectively. These are the values used for numerical examples in later sections. Only high-accuracy cartography on large-scale maps requires an ellipsoidal model. Cylindrical projections the spherical approximation of Earth with radius A can be modeled by a smaller sphere of radius R, called the globe in this section. The globe determines the scale of the map. The various cylindrical projections specify how the geographic detail is transferred from the globe to a cylinder tangential to it at the equator. The cylinder is then unrolled to give the planar map. The fraction array is called the representative fraction or the principal scale of the projection. For example, a Mercator map printed in a book might have an equatorial width of 13.4 acm corresponding to a globe radius of 2.13 acm and an RF of approximately 1/300 m whereas Mercator's original 1569 map has a width of 198 acm corresponding to a globe radius of 31.5 acm and an RF of about 1/20 m. A cylindrical map projection is specified by formula linking the geographic coordinates of latitude EI and longitude EI to Cartesian coordinates on the map with origin on the equator and x-axis along the equator. By construction, all points on the same meridian lie on the same generator of the cylinder at a constant value of x, but the distance y along the generator is an arbitrary function of latitude, y, i. In general this function does not describe the geometrical projection from the center of the globe to the cylinder, which is only one of an unlimited number of ways to conceptually project a cylindrical map. Since the cylinder is tangential to the globe at the equator, the scale factor between globe and cylinder is unity on the equator but nowhere else. In particular since the radius of a parallel, or circle of latitude, is Rakosa I, 
the corresponding parallel on the map must have been stretched by a factor of 1 slash cos i equals sec i. This scale factor on the parallel is conventionally denoted by k and the corresponding scale factor on the meridian is denoted by rh. Small element geometry, the relations between y, i, and properties of the projection, such as the transformation of angles and the variation in scale, follow from the geometry of corresponding small elements on the globe and map. The figure below shows a point P at latitude I and longitude I on the globe and a nearby point Q at latitude I plus I, I and longitude I plus I, I. The vertical lines PK and MQ are arcs of meridians of length 3I. The horizontal lines PM and KQ are arcs of parallels of length R, cos I, I, I. The corresponding points on the projection define a rectangle of Y the IX and Ech to I, I. For small elements, the angle PKQ is approximately a right angle and therefore the previously mentioned scaling factors from globe to cylinder are given by parallel scale factor R A A A meridian scale factor R since the meridians are mapped to lines of constant x we must have x equals R I A I 0 and I x equals R I therefore in the limit of infinitesimally small elements derivation of the Mercator projection the choice of the function y I, for the Mercator projection is determined by the demand that the projection be conformal, a condition which can be defined in two equivalent ways. The quality of angles. The condition that a sailing course of constant azimuth I plus or minus on the globe is mapped into a constant grid bearing I squared on the map. Setting I plus or minus equals I squared in the above equations gives Y, I, equals a sesi. Isotropy of scale factors. This is the statement that the point scale factor is independent of direction so that small shapes are preserved by the projection. Setting H equals K in the above equations again gives Y, I, equals a sesi. Integrating the equation with Y, 0, equals 0, by using integral tables or elementary methods, gives Y, I. Therefore, in the first equation I0 is the longitude of an arbitrary central meridian usually, but not always, that of Greenwich. The difference is in radians. The function y, i, is plotted alongside i for the case r equals 1, it tends to infinity at the poles. The linear y-axis values are not usually shown on printed maps. Instead some maps show the non-linear scale of latitude values on the right. More often than not the maps show only a graticule of selected meridians and parallels, inverse transformations. The expression on the right of the second equation defines the Goudermannian function. That is, I equals GD, YR, the direct equation may therefore be written as Y equals a GDA 1, I. Alternative expressions, there are many alternative expressions for Y, I, all derived by elementary manipulations. Corresponding inverses are for angles expressed in degrees. The above formulae are written in terms of the globe radius r. It is often convenient to work directly with the map width w equals 2 i euro r. For example, the basic transformation equations become truncation and aspect ratio. The ordinate y of the Mercator becomes infinite at the poles, and the map must be truncated at some latitude less than 90 degrees. This need not be done symmetrically. Mercator's original map is truncated at 80 a degree n and 66 a degree s with a result that European countries were moved towards the center of the map. The aspect ratio of his map is 198 120 equals 1.65. Even more extreme truncations have been used. A Finnish school atlas was truncated at approximately 76 a degree n and 56 a degree s an aspect ratio of 1.97. Much web-based mapping uses a zoomable version of the Mercator projection with an aspect ratio of unity. In this case the maximum latitude attained must correspond to y equals a plus or minus with 2, or equivalently y r equals i euro. Any of the inverse transformation formulae may be used to calculate the corresponding latitudes. Scale factor a figure comparing the infinitesimal elements on globe and projection shows that when I plus or minus equals I squared the triangles PQM and PQ are similar so that the scale factor in an arbitrary direction is the same as the parallel and meridian scale factors. 
This result holds for an arbitrary direction, the definition of isotropy of the point scale factor. The graph shows the variation of the scale factor with latitude. Some numerical values are listed below. At latitude 30 a degree the scale factor iso AK equals SACA 30 a degree equals 1.15, at latitude 45 a degree the scale factor iso AK equals SACA 45 a degree equals 1.41, at latitude 60 a degree the scale factor iso AK equals SACA 60 a degree equals 2, at latitude 80 a degree the scale factor iso AK equals SACA 80 a degree equals 5.76. At latitude 85 a degree the scale factor ISO AK equals SACA 85A. Degree equals 11.5, working from the projected map requires the scale factor in terms of the Mercator ordinate Y. Since ruler measurements can furnish the map ordinate Y and also the width W of the map then YW and the scale factor is determined using one of the alternative forms for the forms of the inverse transformation. The variation with latitude is sometimes indicated by multiple bar scales as shown below and, for example, on a Finnish school atlas. The interpretation of such bar scales is non-trivial. See the discussion on distance formulae below. Area scale, the area scale factor is the product of the parallel and meridian scales hk equals sec 2i. For Greenland, taking 73 a degree as a median latitude, HK equals 11.7. For Australia, taking 25 a degree as a median latitude, HK equals 1.2. For Great Britain, taking 55 a degree as a median latitude, HK equals 3.04. Distortion. The classic way of showing the distortion inherent in a projection is to use Tissot's indicatrix. Nicholas Tissot noted that for cylindrical projections, the scale factors at a point specified by the numbers H and K, define an ellipse at that point of the projection. The axes of the ellipse are aligned to the meridians and parallels. For the Mercator projection, H equals K, so the ellipse is degenerate into circles with radius proportional to the value of the scale factor for that latitude. These circles are then placed on the projected map with an arbitrary overall scale but correct relative sizes. Accuracy one measure of a map's accuracy is a comparison of the length of corresponding line elements on the map and globe. Therefore, by construction, the Mercator projection is perfectly accurate, k equals 1, along the equator and nowhere else. At a latitude of a plus or minus 25 a degree the value of say car is about 1.1 and therefore the projection may be deemed accurate to within 10% in a strip of width 50 a degree centered on the equator. Narrower strips are better. Say K eight a degree equals 1.01, .01, so a strip of width 16 a degree is accurate to within 1% or 1 part in 100. Similarly say K 2.56 a degree equals 1.001, .001, so a strip of width 5.12 a degree is accurate to within 0.1% or 1 part in 1000. Therefore the Mercator projection is adequate for mapping countries close to the equator. Secant projection in a secant Mercator projection the globe is projected to a cylinder which cuts the sphere at two parallels with latitudes a plus or minus a one. The scale is now true at these latitudes whereas parallels between these latitudes are contracted by the projection and their scale factor must be less than one. The result is that deviation of the scale from unity is reduced over a wider range of latitudes. An example of such a projection is the scale on the equator is 0.99. The scale is k equals 1 at a latitude of approximately a plus or minus 8 a degree. The scale is k equals 1.01 .01 at a latitude of approximately a plus or minus 11.4 a degree. Therefore the projection has an accuracy of 1%, over a wider strip of 22 a degree compared with the 16 a degree of the normal projection. This is a standard technique of extending the region over which a map projection has a given accuracy. Generalization to the ellipsoid, when the Earth is modeled by an ellipsoid the Mercator projection must be modified if it is to remain conformal. The transformation equations and scale factor for the non-secant version are. The scale factor is unity on the equator, as it must be since the cylinder is tangential to the ellipsoid at the equator. 
The ellipsoidal correction of the scale factor increases with latitude but it is never greater than E2, a correction of less than 1%. This is much smaller than the scale inaccuracy, except very close to the equator. Only accurate Mercator projections of regions near the equator will necessitate the ellipsoidal corrections. Formulae for distance, converting ruler distance on the Mercator map into true distance on the sphere is straightforward along the equator but nowhere else. One problem is the variation of scale with latitude, and another is that straight lines on the map, other than the meridians or the equator, do not correspond to great circles. The distinction between rum distance and great circle distance was clearly understood by Mercator. He stressed that the rum line distance is an acceptable approximation for true great circle distance for courses of short or moderate distance, particularly at lower latitudes. He even quantifies his statement. When the great circle distances which are to be measured in the vicinity of the equator do not exceed 20 degrees of a great circle, or 15 degrees near Spain and France, or 8 and even 10 degrees in northern parts it is convenient to use rum line distances. For a ruler measurement of a short line, with midpoint at latitude ELI, where the scale factor is K equals Cessian equals A1 slash cos I, true distance equals rum distance a perma ruler distance a. Cosa I slash RFAAA, short lines, with radius and great circle circumference equal to 6,371 a km and 40,030 a km respectively in a ref of 1 300 them, for which R equals 2.12 a cm and W equals 13.34 a cm, implies that a ruler measurement of 3 m in any direction from a point on the equator corresponds to approximately 900 a km. The corresponding distances for latitudes 20 a degree, 40 a degree, 60 a degree and 80 a degree are 846 a km, 689 a km, 450 a km and 156 a km respectively. Longer distances require various approaches. On the equator, scale is unity on the equator. Therefore interpreting ruler measurements on the equator is simple. True distance equals ruler distance slash RFAA for the above model, with RF equals 1 300 them, 1 a cm corresponds to 3000 a km. On other parallels, on any other parallel the scale factor is sec i so that, parallel distance equals ruler distance a, cos i slash RFAA. For the above model 1 a cm corresponds to 1500 a km at a latitude of 60 a degree. This is not the shortest distance between the chosen endpoints on the parallel because a parallel is not a great circle. The difference is small for short distances but increases as I, the longitudinal separation, increases. For two points, A and B, separated by 10 a degree of longitude on the parallel at 60 a degree the distance along the parallel is approximately 0.5 a km greater than the great circle distance. I. The length of the chord AB is 2. Orcasy, sin, I slash 2. This chord subtends an angle at the center equal to 2 arc sine, acasi a sin, I slash 2, and the great circle distance between A and B is 2 all arc sine, acasi a sin, I slash 2. In the extreme case where the longitudinal separation is 180 a degree, the distance along the parallel is one half of the circumference of that parallel. That is, 10,007.5 a km. On the other hand the geodesic between these points is a great circle arc through the pole subtending an angle of 60 a degree at the center, the length of this arc is one-sixth of the great circle circumference, about 6,672 a km. The difference is 3,338 a km so the ruler distance measured from the map is quite misleading even after correcting for the latitude variation of the scale factor. On a meridian, a meridian of the map is a great circle on the globe but the continuous scale variation means ruler measurement alone cannot yield the true distance between distant points on the meridian. However, if the map is marked with an accurate and finely spaced latitude scale from which the latitude may be read directly a euro as is the case for the Mercator 1569 world map and all subsequent nautical charts a euro the meridian distance between two latitudes I1 and I2 is simply if the latitudes of the endpoints cannot be determined with confidence then they can be found instead by calculation on the ruler distance. Calling the ruler distances of the endpoints on the map meridian as measured from the equator Y1 and Y2, 
the true distance between these points on the sphere is given by using any one of the inverse Mercator formula. Where R may be calculated from the width W of the map by R equals with 2i euro. For example, on a map with R equals 1 the values of Y equals 0, 1, 2, 3 correspond to latitudes of I equals 0 a degree, 50 a degree, 75 a degree. 84 a degree and therefore the successive intervals of 1 a cm on the map correspond to latitude intervals on the globe of 50 a degree, 25 a degree, 9 a degree and distances of 5560 a km, 2780 a km, and 1000 a km on the Earth. On a rum, a straight line on the Mercator map at angle I plus or minus to the meridians is a rum line. When I plus or minus equals I euro slash 2 or 3 I euro slash 2 the rum corresponds to one of the parallels. Only one, the equator, is a great circle. When I plus or minus equals 0 or I euro it corresponds to a meridian great circle. For all other values it is a spiral from pole to pole on the globe intersecting all meridians at the same angle, and is thus not a great circle. This section discusses only the last of these cases. If I plus or minus is neither zero nor I euro then the above figure of the infinitesimal elements shows that the length of an infinitesimal rum line on the sphere between latitudes I and I plus I I is all sessi plus or minus A I I. Since I plus or minus is constant on the rum this expression can be integrated to give, for finite rum lines on the earth. Once again, if I I may be read directly from an accurate latitude scale on the map. Then the rum distance between map points with latitudes I1 and I2 is given by the above. If there is no such scale then the ruler distances between the end points and the equator, Y1 and Y2, give the result via an inverse formula. These formula give rum distances on the sphere which may differ greatly from true distances whose determination requires more sophisticated calculations. See also List of map projections, cartography, Transverse Mercator Projection, Universal Transverse Mercator Coordinate System, Gala Euro Peters Projection, Jordan Transverse Mercator, Nautical Chart, Tissot's Indicatrix, Notes. References, Malling, Derek Hilton, Coordinate Systems and Map Projections, Pergamon Press, ISBN A0-08-037233-3A. Monmonia, Mark. 1923 Rum Lines and Map Wars. A Social History of the Mercator Projection, Chicago, The University of Chicago Press, ISBN A 0 226 53431 6 Ulva, F.W.J. Lozier, D.W. Berweisvert, R.F.A.L., Eds, N.I.S.T. Handbook of Mathematical Functions, Cambridge University Presser, Osborne, Peter, The Mercator Projection Sir, Rapp, Richard H. Geometric Geodesy, Partier, Snyder, John P., Flattening the Earth, 2000 Years of Map Projections, University of Chicago Press, ISBN A 0 226 76747 7 Snyder, John P., Map Projections A Euro A Working Manual. U.S. Geological Survey Professional Paper 1395, United States Government Printing Office. Washington, D.C. This paper can be downloaded from USGS pages. It gives full details of most projections, together with interesting introductory sections, but it does not derive any of the projections from first principles. External links Ad Mero Rum Gerardi Mercatoris Gloria Euro contains high resolution images of the 1569 world map by Mercator. Table of examples and properties of all common projections from radicalcartography.net. An interactive Java plot to study the metric deformations of the Mercator projection. Web Mercator, non-conformal, non-Mercator, Mercator's projection at University of British Columbia, Mercator's projection at Wolfram Math World, Google Maps coordinates.